Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. Today I have an unboxing for you and I am so excited about this unboxing. If you've been following along with me for a little while and my diamond painting adventures, you will know that I have been on a hunt for a new drill pin. It really kind of started late last fall when I was expressing that I wanted a drill pin that was like much shorter, uh, maybe a little bit chunkier around the middle. And that did finally lead me to finding this one. This I got, I don't even remember when I ended up finally purchasing this one. Well, it's, there's an unboxing somewhere. And for some reason, I'm just totally blanked on when I managed to get this one, but it's from Gems Handmade Pens. And I, of course, will link to all of this in the description below. So definitely go check that out. Um, Gems Handmade Pens is an Etsy shop. Now, when it arrived, um, it did not have the metal tips. I did add the metal tips, but I got this pen and I love it. It is just about the only drill pen I have used since I have gotten it. But upon receiving it, I was able to kind of like hone what I would maybe like a little bit more. And that was, you know, I could maybe have this pen be just slightly longer. I mean, this length is actually good, but you know, my ideal pen would be maybe just a little bit longer. Um, while also expressing that that may not be possible because I'm aware that blanks come like two times the size. And so it's much easier just to cut a blank in half versus wasting a whole bunch of uh, material there. Um, but you know, I'm just saying in my ideal world be maybe a little bit longer in length and just, just a few millimeters fatter around the middle. Um, but otherwise I, I mean, I love this pen. I made those, you know, wishes known and people always kept saying butterfly effect wears. You need to check out butterfly effect wears. Husband wife duo, um, a couple out of uh, South Carolina or North Carolina, one of the Carolinas. I can't remember now for some reason and I feel really, really bad about that. Um, but I will, of course, again, link to all of their information below. But it took me months, months of hunting and searching and patiently waiting because this butterfly effect wear stuff, guys, they, they sell out fast. But they do offer pens in like a whole range of sizes. And I found one that I thought this might be good for me. It's like a chunky mini pen. But it took me a long time. I finally got the skinny, found out when new products drop. I was on the site as fast as I could. There was only one pin left in the size that I desired. I quick scooped it up. I didn't bother looking at anything else. They also sell putty. And I mean, I didn't, I didn't even bother. I just, I wanted to get that pen. So I, I scooped up that one last one that they had available and the size that I wanted and I bought it. Awesome. I kid you not, within 20 minutes, 15 minutes after I made that purchase, I got a message from one of you. She said, hey, I know you've been looking for a new pen. You're not gonna believe this. She's like, Enablers Outpost has a sale going on right now. Maybe they can help you. So I went and I checked out Enablers Outpost. And their prices were awesome. They had a great sale going. And I thought, you know what? We're just, we're going to do it. I'm going to buy two more mini pins. So I finally get to unbox them for you. And we can uh, talk about them and we'll compare my three mini pins. Here we go. All right. So the one that did actually arrive very quickly was this first one from Butterfly Effect Wears. Um, this, I mean, I, I bought it late Saturday and, or late afternoon on a Saturday and within a week, I think by that next Thursday or Friday, I had it. So super fast shipping. I definitely appreciate that. I like, I always love the happy mail stickers and stuff that come on them. It just, you know, makes it a little bit more happy, a little more fun. Um, I need more scissor work here. <laughs> So yes, shipping for this one was really, really fast. Price was, uh, price I will say is steep. Okay. Um, but I don't, 
mind necessarily if it's something that you know is totally worth the price and this is something i've been waiting for months i've kind of oh, i can't get the box open <laughs> this should not be so cop what is my problem oh okay i did it all right <laughs> the box is now open um this is something that you know i've kind of had the money set aside for months now as i've been waiting to be able to finally get one of these pens um so I, but I do want to make that very, very clear. This pen was still $45, $50. So it was not an inexpensive pen. However, here we go. So it is Abby and John. Lovely little note here. And of course, you may pause this and read it. They are a veteran owned business and a small business. Great type of business to be supporting. And then there is an invoice in here. Uh, and okay, so my price was, it was $41. And then with shipping, which was free because when I bought it, I believe if your purchase was $35 or more, shipping was free. But then with my sales tax, it came to, you know, a little under $44. So that's just to give you an idea of how much this type of pen cost. Um, the price does differ by which style you receive. So, but I just, you know, I wanted to let you know that up front, you know, what you're looking at for pricing. All right. I kind of almost don't remember what the pen looks like. And it's still wrapped up. It looks like a cigar. I bought a cigar. No. <laughs> I did it. All right. But here, lovely butterfly sticker. I get to add it to my sticker collection for butterfly effect wears. Um, we have some, ooh, oh, oolong tea. Hmm, do I keep this or do I be nice and I give it to my husband? I don't know. I will have to think about that. And then a business card. Established 2020, Butterfly Effect Wears. This is, of course, all of their information, which I will have in the description below. All right, so here we go. The way that this works, it comes with a single pointer automatically, which I can already feel is on this side. And then you can choose which type of placer you want on the alternate side. So they offer several different multi-placers. I think you can get a straightener. So your options are there. All right, wrapped up in a cute little butterfly stick. I really feel like this looks like a cigar. Like, I mean, I've never smoked a cigar. I don't smoke, oh, I mean, <laughs> but I, I feel a little funny about this packaging. I, I do, I feel like it's a cigar. All right, so we're gonna look at it. I think it's like green and black and sparkly. Oh, but I think there's, I, well, I don't know. We're just going to look. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 look at that. All right, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So this is kind of big. Not, not bad big, but I mean, when you look at, this is a very substantial difference in size. Um, but I do like, I love, I love the width of this a lot. This is their, I think it's called like chunky maybe. And I really do. I like how that feels. Um, you know, doing this now for a while, I can tell that this is, this is going, this is a comfortable this is a comfortable grip that I have on this pen. I like that a lot, a lot. Um, you know, if I'm being brutally honest, I would say I'd take off one bump worth and I'd just have it this long. Um, but I still prefer this over, let me find a standard size pen. Like kind of what you're used to seeing. Here we go. Here, this is a standard length and like a more standard width. So that kind of gives you an idea. You know, this one is definitely shorter and fatter. I can hold that up too, a little bit closer to the camera, maybe give you a better idea of dimension. Um, so, you know, this is like a regular, this one is the super mini that I got from Jim's. All right, so in this, that's right, I do remember this particular pour didn't have a whole lot of the sparkle green in it. That's all I get, really, is that one, that one little patch of the sparkle green. And if you know me, I love green and I love sparkle green. I love 
that's like my favorite. So I'm gonna always have to hold this pen like this so I can look at my, my little patch of beautiful green sparkle. I love, and so I was, I was excited with this lot because it was, it was like a gray, black, white with the green sparkle. And then I do remember now that the one pen that was left in the size that I wanted had just this teeny tiny little pour of the green sparkle in it. Um, but it's beautiful. Guys, this is a beautiful pen. You have these floating confetti pieces in there. I mean, this is gorgeous. It is just a beautiful, beautiful pen. Um, and then the tip that I chose is a, probably a four placer. Yep. Four placer. That's my go-to. I like four placers a lot. I personally will end up popping these out and I will put in metal tips. I like using the metal tips. So that's just my personal preference. As you can see with this pen, Sometimes I don't do that. You know, this actually is a really nice plastic tip. I kept that one in. Um, so that's not always a guarantee that I will do that, but I probably will with this one. Especially this tip is a little, this is a little rough, but I could, if you do have that happen, you know, if you do get a plastic tip that does have, like this has a little bit of, I don't know if you can even see. There you can a little bit, a little bit of a rough edge up there. Don't, don't freak out. Um, it can easily be sanded down gently. Um, you don't even need sandpaper. Even I find if I just take my fingernail, maybe not the best thing for your finger. So if you like, if you like do your nails, you probably don't want to do that, but seems so I don't do my nails at all. Um, <laughs> that doesn't bother me. And you just, you know, gently rub it out like that. And, um, it doesn't take much and it's going to be just fine. You know, the biggest thing is, um, if it's a little bit rough, that's okay. You just, you don't want it scratching your drills, um, or doing anything kind of funky to your canvas and it won't now I it's, it's fixed. So there you go. All right. So I am doing a lot of rambling today with this unboxing, which maybe I'm socially deprived. I think that's probably it. I, <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right. So then box number two, enablers outpost. This took quite a bit longer to reach me. This was at least two weeks shipping time from when I ordered it to when I received it. Not all of that was on Enablers Outpost, which I love their company logo sticker here. That is so stinking cute. Oh, so they're North Carolina. Wait, where do John and Abby live then? Are they both in the Carolinas? Uh, I don't remember. Huh. Anyway. Um, but I just think that it's the cutest sticker. Anyway. Um, so this did take a little bit longer, but like I said, you know, that's not entirely at the fault of them. Um, and for me, a small business, depending on what it is, if it is an in stock item, for me, I feel like anything about a week out is totally reasonable for expected time to be shipped within. If it is, of course, a product that needs to be made upon ordering, definitely six to eight weeks, sometimes more, depending on the situation. So I received this, like I said, I think it was just over two weeks out from the time that I purchased it, which that's, I mean, that's not a problem. To me, that is reasonable. So, but if you are, you know, thinking, but I want something as soon as I possibly can, the way that Butterfly Effect Wears works is they do their product drops generally on Saturdays, it looks like, and they will ship this out like Monday and you could have it within a week from when you order it. So just, just something to note. Um, but like I said, the, the time with which it took for me to get this pen, I had no problem with. I don't think that is any kind of an issue at all. Uh, especially you have to keep in mind with small businesses, it's harder. You know, you don't have a whole huge team of people. You don't have an entire shipping department. Oh, I need more scissor work here. Um, you don't have that. <laughs> so totally different situation. This is not, you're not dealing with an Amazon warehouse. So just like to kind of point that out for, you know, differences for how small businesses work. All right. So opening this up and on the inside, oh my gosh, I am so happy. You guys can't even see why yet. And it's the most ridiculous reason why I'm so happy. <laughs> Inside. Look. 
it's a little thing of Twizzlers. I love Twizzlers. <laughs> I've never even seen these packages. I've never seen them anywhere. They don't sell them up north. This must be a southern thing or something. I've never seen this. I've never seen a little bitty package of like that. This is adorable. I want this in bulk. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'm way too excited about the candy that came with my pen. <laughs> Um, okay, so now that I've talked about that, the pin is in here, but I think, let me kind of um, turn things over. So, oh my word, guys, I love this box. All right, so also we'll get right here. Oh, it's a scratch to win card. What is, what? Black Friday discount. Scratch the holographic circle to reveal your discount. The code to input on your order is exactly as it appears there, except for the dollar sign. That's used to indicate dollars only. Discount is valid this Black Friday. Oh, that is really fun. And guys, smart. So, so smart. This is called like a bounce back coupon. Um, intended to have you return to them. So now she'll be like, figure out what the discount is. Ha ha, I'm back. So yes, it is a super, super, super cool discount code, which of course I can't tell you, but if you order yourself, you can get one of these awesome holographic cards. Look at how awesome that is. All right, moving right along with this box. Also in here, and I've seen this before, she includes these super, cool little worksheets. Now, got to be honest with you. Got backyard camping and care. Oh, carrot factory. Now that's kind of fun. All right. Um, I would do this myself, <laughs> but honestly, I have a son that would enjoy doing this. So I should really probably keep these for him. Although he hates coloring. He does not, he does not like fine motor work at all, but, um, he would really enjoy being able to find everything and I can actually make this part of his summer schoolwork for me because he hates fine motor work so much I make him of course do things like color pages so I will have this be like an extra special school assignment for him this coming week oh, so super super cute fun if you have small children or if you just like to color like me also in here we got really cute tissue paper we have couple of cute stickers doggies here this looks like a, a pomeranian maybe and like a husky cute doggy stickers just you know add those to my sticker collection we have wait what is that jolly rancher gummies jolly rancher has gummies whoa so there was another piece of candy in there that i missed i love gummy i love gummy candy i'm i'm Kind of a sucker for. Oh, okay, good. And then finally, here we go. The big reveal. Boom, boom! This is it. This is their mini pen that I got for. There is no um, invoice in here, which is fine. I think, though, it was on sale like 50% off or something. I think it was $15. I don't remember. I was just thrilled. I mean, it was inexpensive enough with the sale that they were so generously running at the time that I didn't, I, I could afford it. All right, and this one, you did not have a choice, I don't think, with placers that came with it. I do know that for butterfly effect wears, you do. You get to choose what you want in addition to your single placer. This one, I don't think that was an option. Instead, they just send you um, with a couple of them. And it looks like here, I have, it looks like another four placer, and this is what, maybe a seven placer? Yep, a seven placer. So it came with a four and a seven placer. And me being me, I'm gonna just pop in that four placer. And this is it. This, do you see? Do you see how lucky I got? It's green with sparkles. Mm-hmm, yeah. That was really what cinched it for me is when I was looking through and um, I saw that they had a pen, green with sparkles. And I got really, really excited. So this is Enablers Outpost. There is some, I'll take this back out. There is like some, 
uh, gunk here that I think must be from turning it. Uh, I imagine this will wear off or if it doesn't, it does not bother me, but I did, you know, I just, I want to be fair and point that out to you. Um, but I, I mean, it doesn't bother me. It is cute. Just feeling it out. I like it. I love, man, I, I like this. I love that this part is a little bit fatter. Love that. And I, the one thing I was worried about was this ridge right here in the center, if that would bother me. And they cut their pins in different shapes, okay? As does Butterfly Effect Wears. The pins are not all cut like this. They are cut in different shapes. And with Butterfly Effect Wears, I was just all about getting the one pin left in the size that I wanted. Uh, so they are not all cut the same. Versus Jim's Handmade Pins, for the most part, this is the cut you're going to get, okay? Um, but that ridge... I don't think that's going to bother me, actually, because it's very soft. It, it's soft. There's not a sharp edge on there at all. This feels nice. Okay, so let's compare now. It is the same length as my Jim's Handmade, which is what I figured. I figured it would be like exactly 50% of a standard drill pin length, and it is. Um, so, you know, the length is good. Again, I would love just a tiny bit like you know, okay so here we go here are all of my pens all right and if I try and line them all up with the tips yeah really right here I want a pen see where my pinky is I want to pin that length this would be my ideal if someone wants to make me a pen this length I would be so happy um however I love the fatter middle of the Enablers Outpost. I love that a lot. I love the width of the Butterfly Effect Wears pen. I love that a lot. Jim's pen really just kind of remains a great little pen. And again, not terribly expensive from Jim's handmade pens. Um, but as for finding my perfect pen, I feel like we're getting closer. We are getting closer. Um, this width in the middle is definitely really, really nice. I could maybe use it a little bit thicker. You know, obviously butterfly effect wears. This is a lot chunkier than this one. Um, it doesn't even necessarily have to be quite as chunky as this. But I really, I really do like how this feels in my hands. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use these pens. So again, here we go. This is just a standard old, I think I got it off from Amazon, but this is a pretty standard resin drill pen here. Like if you order something extra, this is, this is pretty much what you can expect to see, a three bump pen, all right? So that's kind of your standard what you get. This was my first mini that I got from Jim. I love this pen. I was looking for something a little bit fatter in the middle and just ever so slightly longer. Just thinking that might make my grip a little bit more comfortable, especially the width part. Of it. So then here we go. Width nailed it. This butterfly effect wears, oh, width is great. I wish it were slightly shorter because I like being able to flip it over. See, look, with Jim, I flip it over and I don't need to like move my hand down the pen. Butterfly effect wears, I do. Do you see how I have to climb down the pen just, just slightly? <laughs> Can you tell I have done this a lot, <laughs> the pen turning? <laughs> um, just slightly, but the quality is amazing. It is <sighs> beautiful. I mean, I just can't get over how gorgeous this pen is. And I love my little dark green Oh, I love that so much. Um, and the width feels so nice in my hands. And then finally, my Enablers Outpost. Again, a little short, but not, I mean, not bad. You know, again, it's the same. I can turn it. You know, at most, I just got to slide my thumb down because, and 
this also I should probably point out I don't hold pins you know, correctly so that is also probably part of this too as I do hold my pins a little bit different the way that enablers outpost this one is designed too you do need to get your thumb over this ridge so this one I turn it I do have to just reposition my thumb just a tiny bit but I don't need to climb down the pin at all this one too for um the price it's beautiful it is really pretty like really pretty oh i am so happy i cannot wait to get started using my new pens all right guys thank you so much for joining me this was ended up being a very lengthy unboxing sorry i just like i said i think i'm socially deprived and i just really needed to talk with people but I will link to all these in the description below, um, except for this one. This is just, like I said, this came off from Amazon. Just search for diamond painting drill pins on Amazon. You will find something like this. And I'm in love. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, like I always say, please practice kindness. You never know what someone is going through. You don't know what their week has been like. You don't know about their day. So just be kind. Uh, it's just better and easier in the long run for everyone involved. And I hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful day and I'll see you again real soon.